Hello guys and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Jesper Offersen and uh, today we are talking about how you can use uh, L-carnitine or acetyl-L-carnitine uh, to uh, reduce the sebum on your skin. So uh, one of the things that uh, is problematic if you have uh, an acne prone skin or if you have pimples and stuff like that is that uh, your skin is producing too much um, sebum and uh, too much sebum and there will be too much uh, food for the bacteria to thrive on and you will get um, a sit or a pimple. So how can you use uh, acetyl L-carnitine or L-carnitine uh, to uh, reduce uh, the amount of sebum that your skin produces? Now first of all uh, this is not the only thing that will work there will be other things you can do uh, but that will be from uh, the inside out and I will make uh, more videos about that uh, and I will link to them uh, below and um, one of the uh, videos that I have uh, that you can already look at is uh, the one uh, with the ceramides and I will link to that one uh, up here. So what can you do from the outside? Well you can use uh, an amino acid which is called L-carnitine. So uh, actually this one is um, as a tune, L-carnitine, though they say um, L-carnitine. And uh, the difference between uh, as a tune, L-carnitine, and um, I say carnitine, some say carnitine. Uh, the difference between as a tune, L-carnitine, and uh, L-carnitine is that one of them is a uh, hydroxy acid, and that is the L-carnitine. And that is uh, maybe the one that you would most likely see if you go out uh, shopping for it. Uh, but uh, acetyl l carnitine is uh, widely available as well, or maybe actually even more nowadays. Um, so the thing is that the hydroxy um, part of the uh, molecule has been uh, substituted with uh, another part called an acetyl. So it's no longer a hydroxy acid. So it is um, gentler uh, to uh, the skin, but it works uh, in the same way. The way that we are going to use it and the way we are going to use it is that we would like to reduce the amount of sebum that uh, our skin is uh, producing. So um, it is very easy and uh, I make a 2% uh, solution. If you look up uh, a company called uh, Eucerin which is uh, making creams, it's very kind of like uh, gentle creams for um, um, difficult skin. They are very like kind of like these basic um, uh, moisturizers that um, will not irritate your skin, and that is what they are really like known for. And uh, they will say that the, the latest um, things that they have uh, discovered is that if you are using a two percent uh, solution of uh, L-carnitine, and they use L-carnitine, so they use uh, the hydroxy uh, acid version. Uh, if you use a 2% um, solution of that uh, on your skin, uh, you will uh, gradually see uh, that uh, the production of sebum will uh, be more calm and it will uh, be much less over time. And uh, there are other uh, articles and uh, scholarly articles about it, and I will link to those uh, below so that you can read it uh, for yourself. But uh, to use a 2% solution of, um, in this case, acetyl L-carnitine, is uh, very simple. So you you take one of these that is from a travel travel kit, um, and that is one I just normally use. And uh, if you have seen uh, my video about how I make my um, serum, uh, you will have seen that I mix the uh, carnitine in this bottle uh, before I mix it with um, vitamin C. Because if I mix it with vitamin C straight away, the vitamin C will go off. But this uh, tutorial is just about how to make a 2% solution of uh, S2L carnitine. So I take this bottle here and I take 100 milliliters and there is uh, 100 milliliters in there. It can contain 100 milliliters. So first of all, I take a funnel, put it in, and try not to make it fold. And then we take the l carnitine and these um, ones, they usually have a small spoon in them and it comes with uh, this one. I think they are green nowadays, but I have this one. And I know because I have measured it that uh, in this cup here, there is uh, two grams of uh, acetyl l carnitine and that is what you're going to use. So kind of like, this is not an exact science, it doesn't have to be exactly 2%. So this is kind of like about 2%, 2 grams 
And when I put it in here, like that, and I fill it up, and I like to use uh, the this year water, which I have made a video about as well, which you can see up here. And it uh, looks like uh, this. So that is the same that there is in the Vichy spray bottles from L'Oreal. So I just fill it up. And this will fizz a little bit because there are natural um, bubbles in, in this and they will be released just as if you had put uh, sugar into it. So it's just you know, kind of like fill it up. And um, that's it. This is now a 2% solution of uh, S2L kinetine. So that is a 2% solution will be uh, 2 grams of um, S2L kinetine in uh, 100 milliliters of uh, water. And uh, it will fizz a little bit when you open it in the first time. Whoops. But it's manageable. You can just shake it and then gradually get um, away with the, with the bubbles. So yeah, this is something you can use uh, when you have clean your face and uh, you can spray it on your face or you can just put it into your hands and then splash it all over your face and uh, just let it uh, sink in and just before you get completely dry, you will go on with your chosen uh, moisturizer. And uh, can you put it into your moisturizer as well? Well, um, that's what I have done because I went traveling and I thought maybe I could just put it into my moisturizer anyway. I mean, if you mix it on the skin or if you mix it in the bottle, I mean, in this instance, it does not make a difference. There might be other ingredients that you cannot just mix in and leave them. So um, the um, moisturizer that I normally use and which I've spoken about a lot and that is not sponsored or anything like that, though it should be, uh, is the uh, Lat Creme Fluid from uh, Ambrolis. And uh, I simply took 100 milliliters and put in this bottle from the same travel kit and I added uh, two grams of uh, the S2L kinetine and I just shaked it up and it would a treat. Yeah, so there you have it. You can either put it into your cream or you can uh, mix um, a watery bottle so water solution with it uh, instead. And if you use uh, the, this solution and you're using the, the shea water, you will get uh, the benefit from the, uh, the shea water as well. And it looks like this. So uh, that would be kind of like two treatments in, in one. So this should help you uh, over a couple of weeks. You will see that um, your pores will start to go um, a little bit smaller and they will not ooze so much uh, sebum. And uh, that should help you uh, control any outbreaks that you have. But uh, of course, uh, this is not a treatment that can stand alone. So if you are really having uh, issues with uh, a strong production of uh, sebum, uh, there will be other things that you need to, to do. And uh, in order to uh, stabilize your skin barrier, the um, moisture barrier. And um, you can see uh, about that in the video, uh, which is about uh, ceramides. And I will make uh, more of this sort of videos uh, in order to show you how you can deal with um, acne prune uh, skin. Thank you for watching. See you. Bye.